Galva Motorsports. We're here at TX2K21. I think we brought uh, seven or eight Vipers here for the roll race event. The fastest one being Fabricio Cordoba's. I uh, made 3,100 to the tire with 2,500 foot pounds of torque. Hoping to be uh, one of the, the top dogs with it. Um, we had some small transmission issues that only let us qualify in the uh, unlimited class instead of the Elite Eight. We put a speed limiter on the car at 200 miles an hour so we didn't have a 205 mile an hour breakout and we hit it half track. Fabrizio actually drove the car this time himself. He wanted some seat time. He did awesome for his first time. Got eliminated, uh, I think, his second or third round, but for his first time driving something that fast, uh, we were really happy with it. Fabricio's engine, it's been the same motor in the car uh, for the last two years and we pulled it out. It was always capped around 2400 and we put our, our newer style cam in it after he went to the Cape Canaveral event. He went 237 in it. We said it's time to freshen up the motor so we pull it out. Everything looked great in it. Nothing really changed with the car. It's, it's still a precision twin 8685 car. A 6XD transmission, we, we swapped it out for the PPG, thinking it was gonna be better, and every event we had issues with it, so we swapped the PPG back in. It worked, but uh, unfortunately, he got eliminated. Still, uh, twin 8685, stock stroke, uh, solid roller, spins about 8500, flappy paddles. The, really, the only difference between anything uh, was the cam, and uh, we had uh, John at uh, Wilson Manifolds plumb all the nitrous stuff. He did a killer job on a, on a 300 shot. It picked up like 400 and something wheel. Uh, gave us uh, at 40 pounds of boost in the 300 shot. It made uh, right at 3,100. For a 86, 85 car, it's really good. Those turbos like a little bit of pressure through them to, to really shine, but it's a nasty setup, man. It's it's so fast. Like when you see it take down the track when it, it gets in, it's just like, phew, it's, it's, it's really impressive. So I think uh, what we're gonna eventually go to is put a turbo 400 in it, like we did with the General. That's, I think, what these cars really need to survive. Yeah, the setup on the street is great. Actually, the car's getting shipped back to Fabricio at the end of this week. We're just gonna change the oil, do maintenance, and he's gonna drive it around Miami, get, get more used to it, 
you know, the car's kind of lived with us because every time it goes to an event, it comes back for change. And Fabrizio just always wants more power, more power, more power. But he never gets to like actually just drive it on the street. So yeah, hopefully this thing will be heading back to Miami by the end of the week. Second car we brought was uh, Alex Rodriguez's 2014 white GTS. That car made 2,600 uh, to the tire. We put a really big shot on it, trying to qualify really high, and unfortunately had an engine issue. The car was was on a mission. It was it, it broke at right around 200 and coasted to a 179. So when we figure out what we're on to try to fix that, we'll have a I, I think a really good showing with it. About to take the TRC guys for a little spin in uh, Darius's car. Darius has a 2016 ACR. Um, we call it the Mad Max Viper because it's got blow off valves sticking out the hood, side exit exhaust. Uh, very loud, kind of like the owner. If you haven't seen or know who he is, he's the dude that rode his motorcycle in his pool by accident. <laughs> You can check out him on YouTube on uh, Darius's 240Z if you want to see him do stupid shit all the time. So we started off to do a CM 1600, and then he goes, no, I want an 1800 with a billet crank since he breaks everything. So we did a billet crank with twin 72s. It's our uh, CM 1800, but the car made more power than any other car, and I called Robert over at Force Performance, and he's like, oh, it's the side exhaust. He only picked up about 100 wheel per side. It's not that much, but yeah, it made 2070 to the tire on twin 72s, uh, 10569 Arizona. Uh, cars just like spools up so fast, like it's just a f***ing blast to drive. Well, this is my first Viper I've ever been oh, in. Man. <laughs> I bet you're excited. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this day. Never been in a stock one, but it's easy, easy <laughs> yeah. enough to drive, you know? Yeah, f***ing dude. They, this one's a little difficult because uh, with the short exhaust, like it wigs the O2s out, we're noticing. So gotcha. we went out the, I mean, we finished it real quick and brought it here. We, we, you know, we really didn't street drive it more than 10 minutes, so yeah. when we get yeah. back, what we'll do is probably street drive a little bit more, just dial the low-end drivability in. For the, sure, for sure. Short exhaust. So this, is this a newer build? Yeah, we just finished it last week. Gotcha, I was gonna say, I don't think I've seen this one well, yet. Had, this one we did a 1300X on uh, last year. So Nick and Romeo just for, went for a ride in the Calvo Viper. Let's go see what they think. What's up, boys? How was that? 
I'm gonna need one of those. Add that to the list of like things that are gonna mess me up financially. Uh, the TRC experience for you has been uh, expensive, let's yes, say, right? It has. <laughs> How was that, brother? Dude, it was really good. For like it being a low setting, it was still pretty, pretty good. Like pretty intense. The power, huh? the power is constant throughout the gears, and yeah, it, it was really it, fun. It yeah. never falls out of boost and just keeps so, ripping. Yeah. So, uh, Romeo, if you've been in like an H pattern Viper before, I imagine the sequential is just even yeah. dreamy, right? There's no like lag, nothing. It's just like I said, just constantly just keeps going. It's, oh, yeah. it's so much cooler than like a, a Lambo or like a Porsche or something. Like not that those aren't cool, but this feels more raw. Like you, it feels like you're flying, but I don't know. It goes straight. It's it's a blast, man. These oh, yeah. are, I, I need them. <laughs> Zachary Friedman's car. Uh, everybody knows it's a nine liter twin Zona uh, 115 69S. He went a few rounds and got eliminated. Matt Durish, it was his first time ever running event. CM uh, 1300X with a, a six speed in it. He went a few rounds, first time racing, roll racing anything, uh, really good showing. I know we had a, a clutch issue with it, so we swapped the clutch in it for him, got it back, and then the, the factory slave let go. But he, he had a blast, everything was good, the car ran great. I think he went like 183 miles an hour, which is awesome for a car that makes 1350, 1400. And then we had Eric Wood, who uh, wound up placing second against uh, Jan Bueller with a Sissio car. Eric's car went like round to round to round, it was awesome, he was like, Head to head with a UGR car, we inch, inch past them. Just really fast cars, really great racing. Overall, I had an awesome time this weekend. You know, all the cars did great for what they were. We learned a bunch about what we need to do with the, these really big power cars. We're looking forward to, to fixing whatever's wrong with them and coming back better than ever. Thank mm -hmm. you. 